Hello and welcome back to the Eternian Stories channel where today we're going to be doing a uh, tour of my bookshelf. So as you'll see above me, I have some lights and a lot of, um, those are the little uh, cards from Scribbler and a couple other things from them over here. And then when we get a little bit closer here, you can see a couple of my Pikmin. Um, just one of them. And then that's Olmar, and my favorite book of all time, obviously, is on display right there. Um, and then I might actually flip you guys around. Just look over here, and... Alright, so, looking at the bookshelf here, we can see all of the cool stuff I was talking about there. I kind of love... Let me get some of these books I'm reading out of the way. I kind of love this um, hexagonal... Um, little shelf. I used to use it as a bookshelf when I had it up higher. Now it just holds all of my little pandas and just other cute little plants and whatnot. And we have a Pikmin hiding right underneath there. Um, the books I'm supposed to be reading right now, which I have not read at all. Maybe I'll read them in March. Um, and then I finally have these series I have been wanting for such a long time. I've read them all and they are all very good books. I'm probably going to reread them later this year because I read this one about a year ago. But I have all three books and they were very good. Um, this is the uh, Simon Snow series. I definitely recommend it. Um, and then my current art supplies are over here because I got rid of a desk. So those are sitting right there. And I they're okay right there. And then if we move some of this out of the way, you can see my Game of Thrones leather-bound um, sets there. Still haven't finished the series. As you can see, I'm trying to restart the series um, so I can finish it this time. And then I'm reading Allegiant and the third Overlord book. And then over here, we usually have the Harry Potter little area. Um, let me move these books out of the way. All right, so now that the books are out of the way, we can see my fridge, apparently. And this is the Harry Potter area. I have the Cursed Child and another Pikmin over here and a couple other things. I have Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Um, it's an illustrated edition, but it's a little bit different because it's um, interactive and whatnot. And then I have the actual illustrated edition under here. I want to get more of these and just kind of stack them and make them look very beautiful together. Um, but for now, that's the one I have. Um, and then the books that were there a minute ago, those were all of the, uh, I guess you would call them graphic novels that I've been reading because I wasn't able to get the next books in the Heartstopper series, but I found them on Webtoon, so I read them anyways. Um, but those are all the ones I got instead because I want to read them all. And then when we move down here to the first little shelf here, um, there is a lot of manga but behind all four of these bookshelves right here. There's manga behind all of them and they fit perfectly there. But when we get to the first one here, there's the first little uh, stuffed animal I got. Um, he's very cute. And then we have the light novels is the start of the bookshelves because I just think they look really nice. We have 13 of the Overlord books. I believe there are 14 or 15 now, and I am on the third one right now. I bought those mostly for my husband because he loves them. Um, and then we have Tanya the Evil. We have eight of them. I believe there are nine or ten out right now. And then we move on to the books that I got from my Scribbler boxes. So those were, that box uh, was a subscription box that gives you a book and a bunch of like writer goodies and whatnot. So I have all of those right here. They end right here. And um, I don't think there's any anywhere else. I believe they are all up there. And then we have some other books that I have enjoyed recently. I need to get the other two books. This is actually the middle of a series. Um, and then I have Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince for no reason. Honestly, it's just a book that was given to me. Uh, much was Allegiant and Divergent. I need to get the middle book of that series. Um... So that's going to be the end of the top row of bookshelves. So we move down here and I have, oof, I almost fell there, um, a case of pens. I need to take all of these out and just put them in a bin or something so I can use this for when I open my shop. I'll keep all my stickers in there. For now, it just holds pens. Oh, there we go. Now we can see Oreo in a video finally. There he is. Oh my goodness. What a baby. Um, and then I just have some stationery down there that I need to get put into all of this stuff under here. Um, and then, so if we move these out of the way, there's more books down here. There's no, um, there's no manga behind these books. These are just here. Um, so these are the books I got from Book of the Month. Um, I didn't really get that many of them. I believe that's all of them right there. 
Um, please ignore my cat playing with cardboard in the background. He loves his box. Um, and then the, oh, I have the most beautiful copy of Dracula. I got this from Barnes and Nobles when I went there for the first time a few years ago. Uh, probably more than a few years ago now, probably like four years ago. Um, and then on the next set here, I have this one. This one is a, um, this is all of the Chronicles of Narnia books in one. Um, I love this. I read the first one, which was really cool because it doesn't actually start with Chronicles of Narnia. It starts with how the place was made and whatnot. And then I have Midnight Sun, which I need to get the Twilight series. This is Twilight Told from Edward's perspective. Very good book. Loved it. Um, gave a lot more insight to the books and whatnot. And then the rest of the books here. My used-to-be favorite book was Turtles All the Way Down by John Green, but I read that in, I believe, a day and a half. A very good book. But anyway, The Wind Blows by Rainbow Wow has taken that place. And then we move down here to a few books that I got from... Um, these ones are, it's so funny, I actually got these from the grocery store, and, um, I think I got this from the pharmacy, because they have some books there. Um, these are all horror novels, this is Dune, I want to read that, but it's a very long book, so I don't know when I'll get to that, um, and then these are just horror books, this is a Christmas horror novel, I want to read that one, or it's a thriller, sorry, and then, um, uh, my two copies, um, of the, the, uh, Game of Thrones books that my parents got me. Because I had the first one on my Kindle, and then the second two they bought me as, like, actual copies. Um, and then there's a few more books here. Um, Paper Towns was a very good book by John Green as well. This one I haven't read yet, but I saw it when I went to the bookstore and got um, all those Harry Potter books and a couple others. And I was like, it's just so beautiful, I have to buy it, you know? I can't get this back in there, oh no. <laughs> we'll have to put that back in there in a minute. And then these are just all other kinds of books that are in here. And... That is pretty much the end of the bookshelf. We can actually go back up here, and I have a book um, on the world of Critical Role. I bought that for my husband, but I've been looking through it more recently, and it's pretty good. It's pretty good, because I do follow Critical Role quite a lot, and their, their stuff is so good. So we're going to get up here and look at the bookshelves again. And this is how my bookshelf looks right now. And I think it looks very cute. Um, the lights over here, these are actually little cats. Look at them. They're so cute. And they light up um, like a blue-purple color. I turn them on sometimes, but mostly they're just there to look cute. And that is going to be about it for this video. Let me know down below what some of your favorite books are, how your you know, books are set up. I kind of want to get another, like I was showing you guys, the 8 cube. I want to get another one to put above this one, and then I'll get rid of the bench that's underneath it so it'll be high enough. Um, but yeah, let me know any of your book recommendations, anything you guys are reading, and I'll see you guys in the next video.